From a little-known hobby to the little-known properties of something everybody thinks they know about, oxygen. But what do we know about it? Well, we breathe it. Or to be precise, oxygen is the constituent of the atmosphere which supports life, the other constituent being nitrogen. However, to show you some of the amazing things we don't know, we visit a research laboratory at Morden, where chemist Dr. Din carries out a few tests with liquid oxygen. First, let's explain that liquid oxygen is pure oxygen that has been, putting it simply, separated from air by cooling it in a giant refrigerator until it liquefies, and then distilling it. It has a temperature of 300 degrees below zero, which means that when it comes into contact with materials at ordinary temperatures, it boils away. One effect of liquid oxygen evaporating in a closed vessel is to build up pressure, sufficient to run an engine. You may have noticed that because of its fantastically low temperature, the liquid oxygen has to be kept in a vacuum flask. Now observe the remarkable effect it has on liquid metal mercury. After the boiling process, which gives off a dense fog, consisting of cold gas and water vapor, the mercury can be seen again, frozen solid. And we mean solid. It's frightening when you realize oxygen, the stuff we breathe, remember, has such dynamic qualities. But as you'll see, it has even more devastating effects on normally tough objects, like this strip of perforated zinc. It seems difficult to reconcile these destructive properties with its invaluable use to pilots, for example, at high altitudes. This, by the way, is what happens to an ordinary piece of rubber tubing. Watch what happens to an ordinary rubber ball. Remarkable, isn't it? As we said before, few people realize the power of pure oxygen. Although, of course, in the experienced hands of researchers like Dr. Din, it's quite safe. 